Hello. Today we are going to discuss how to convert variables into stationary. As you can see, we discuss all these parts in five or four, five videos, and now we are going to use the variable into and how to convert it into stationary. Let us go to the views first. One of the way is to convert variable into stationary is first difference. We have to, as we can see, we have to one variable, GDP, which was non-stationary, but when we convert it into, into first difference, this is GDP, when we convert it into first difference, it becomes a stationary. Once the variable becomes stationary, we can use the the stationary variable in time series model, such as vector error correction model, Granger causality, and we shall be opening the chronogram and the Q statistic to do all these tasks. Our hypothesis is null hypothesis is a variable is stationary, the alternative variable is not stationary. This is just a hypothesis for our analysis. But what is our guideline? Our guideline is when the p-value is more than 5%, we cannot reject null, but when we, when the p-value is less than 5%, we reject null and we accept the alternative. What is the alternative hypothesis? The alternative is the variable is not stationary. So in this case, if we accept null hypothesis, it means the variable is stationary. If we reject null hypothesis, it means the variable is not stationary. Suppose we have the data GDP variable from, as you can see it here, 1982 2013, which is 34 observation. Then I will open the data, as you can see it here. Just click, open the data. This is the data for, from 1980 to 2013, which is time series data. In this case, we have to look at the variable here, and these data are time series data. So our target is to convert the data into stationary. How? I go to view, graph. OK, but before that, we'll take it as a level. So I want to draw the graph first. And then we can go to color gram to see whether this, this variable is stationary or not. Uh, sorry, it is yeah, stationary or not. Here we have to go to quick graph and we draw the graph here. Then we leave it basic type and line and sample. This is for the raw data. This is the graph as you can see it here. From this, we can read this graph. From this graph, we can say the GDP variable is gradually going up, meaning that our variable is not stationary. It has upper trend. Our task is to make the GDP variable to stationary. Or let us check, check it statistically whether our GDP is stationary or not. How? I go to a quick serious statistic, colorogram, and then we type the variable here, GDP at the level and click OK. We select the color gram of level and to see whether this variable is stationary uh, is stationary or not. Click OK. Of course, here we have 16 lags. 1, 2, 16 lags. We assume that we have 16 lags. And here, AC, as you can see, it autocorrelation. 
autocorrelation and you can see the coefficient of AC are this one are so big which means that there exists autocorrelation and also you can see that Q statistic value are big Q statistic value are big here it is which is not zero and P value are all almost zero all zero P value all zero is not a stationary but we can check what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis variable is a stationary alternative is not a stationary but here what is our task our task is to make the variable GDP stationary how we have to convert all the data which is the variable GDP into first difference and probably and GDP variable become stationary we will check before then how to check after we correct this situation and we convert the variable from GDP to level first difference and then we can go to quick serial uh, serious statistic color gram G D P here we can click OK we first we select first difference instead of level and then we have also lags here as you can see 16 lag period and you click OK if we look at it here first the probability all greater than zero which means that p-value is less than five percent uh, greater than five percent meaning that the variable is stationary but the correlation has changed or the color gram has changed changed completely and all the autocorrelation function has become very small that is mean probability the variable after the first difference has become stationary meaning that there is almost no autocorrelation and here we we can check Q statistic as you can see it here is Q statistic can make it confirm and corresponding p-value all become very big as we start to increase comparing with the previous one in the level starting increasing or becoming very big at least more than five percent and if the p-value is more than five percent we can not reject null what is the uh, null null is variable is stationary so the first difference of GDP has become stationary now if we plot the GDP variable how to look at uh, and how how it looks like I go to the original of and create a new variable which is difference variable go to the original which is here this is the original you can create a new variable for GDP we call it difference GDP right click new object difference GDP DGDP and then the object is serious we can complete this one press OK and here you can see DGDP not inserted the data if you want to insert the data there is two ways first open the gate from edit and then insert the data here or we can go to command and type d gdp equal d between bracket gdb and then press enter and here you can see the data inserted for the first difference and this is the variable here now after we convert this data into first 
difference as we see it before click open the data DGD see the graph is different than the first one and here you can see it is stationary it's not going up but going like fluctuated and we call it the station the variable is becoming stationary because the variable has no trend so the color chorogram has changed completely in this case we call it the variable is stationary thank you